What? What is up? How's it going, guys? Again, uh, today I'm gonna go over 2001 Ali. Ali. This is a biopic about Muhammad Ali, the boxer, great, one of the greatest of all time, and as played by Will Smith. And I also think this is one of Will Smith's bigger roles. It's kind of like catapulted him a little bit more. Even though the movie got, I think, lukewarm reviews on its opening, and I, I don't know if it was a big hit or not, money-wise, but uh, you know, it still was a serious role that he, you know, he was carrying. He was carrying, you know, another character. The biopics are pretty big, you know. Um, if you can tell what what it did for Jamie Foxx's career with uh, Ray Charles with Ray. Um, first off. The look of the movie is great. Uh, very nostalgic look. They had great music through the whole thing. Uh, you know, if you liked like Muhammad Ali and you like that time period, you are gonna love this movie. It's very, very nostalgia building. You know, it's very like whoa. You know, I don't think the story was all that great. I don't think a whole lot happened. It went through just the the motions. I never felt. I never really felt. Um, I never really felt like I got to know Ali, which might seem crazy. I just didn't feel like I got to know him. It was a lot of song and dance, you know. It wasn't a lot of real moments, I thought. You know, there was a few. I really wish there was more. But um, overall, I, I didn't feel like the heavy... I didn't feel the weight of the movie. I thought I would feel it a lot more, you know. I'd be like, man, the whole emotional ride. But I, I really didn't. It might be partially because I know what happened. Um, I thought it was cool the way they had James Tony playing Joe Frazier. That was awesome. Uh... You know, very. Uh, I, I would check it out if you're a boxing fan. I would check it out. It's nothing amazing, but uh, it's like I I would check it out on Netflix, which I believe it is currently on right now. So, anyways, guys, check it out. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later on, and uh, please stay honest.